There will be a great wind of the three-day weekend age. And each religious organization will raise that wind. And various organizations will start various trainings. And we can predict that it will rise greatly amongst the leisure activities. And you need to know this is connected with world missions. When I first came up to Seoul, I started evangelism school. I gathered, uh, I went to give the lecture, many people gathered, and I talked about evangelism. And so that was just gathering of people, and I was telling them what evangelism was, but training was separate from that. And we had the, uh, in Seocho, the welfare church, and many people gathered there. And going beyond that, we started the trainings of Evangelism Institute and Missionary Training Center. It was very difficult to renew those aspects. And, of course, uh, it was very difficult because everybody has their reasons. This Bokji church, it was a big help to them financially and otherwise. But by God's works, I was able to take it away from them and be able to start the evangelism institute across the nation. And focused on the Changde Church, we were able to start this evangelism institute with the big group. But the age was changing, so we began to turn to do concentrated training. It was almost a situation where everybody went to Evangelism Institute already graduated. And it was also very difficult to try to explain uh, the narrowing of the Evangelism Institute and entering into a new type of concentrated training. And so it's very difficult trying to control this because the Evangelism Institute, every missionary training center, they all have their own secretaries and the numbers of students are shrinking. And there is another aspect I'm truly praying a lot about. And it's concerning the core service. And it is meaningless to do a core conference of people gathering like before. Now we must enter into concentration. And there are three reasons for that. And it's been a very long time. The religious organizations, especially three organizations, have started this for a long time ago. And what they do there is make so each individual can completely change. That's the problem. And 
and they make it so they will become the Nephilim. The churches must not remain still. And so when we're meeting Saturday, Sundays, uh, when we're having this core service, we must not add another training. You need to know what the problem is for the believers. You must be able to get rid of that problem for them. And we see Buddhism has already started temple stay and they have started counseling. And as I've seen it, they are the best at counseling. And it doesn't even compare to academic counselors. And through YouTube, they're broadcasting through the entire world. But the content of their counseling is very shocking. And they're proclaiming complete failure without the gospel, but their counseling is completely the gospel. What does that mean? If you go online, you could see it easily. The monk is giving this counseling. What is he saying? He's helping them to see that the problem you're talking about is not a problem. He's helping them completely understand that your thinking is what's incorrect. That is the counseling content. That's what they say. And they help them to see your husband is not the one with the problem. Yes, he is strange. But if you listen to it, you realize a solution, what you can do. We are in a crisis now. The church message say, do this, do that, but it doesn't truly solve the problem they have. So these people, they don't have the gospel, but the content that comes out is amazing. Yeah. And because Tarakbang has the message and training, that's why people gather, but in the future churches, they're going to lose all their members. They make it so the person who's receiving this counseling is embarrassed at the problem they thought they had. And I told you before. And uh, at the Gwangju airport, they're explaining about Buddhism through pictures. And they don't say a single word about Buddhism, but they have these great pictures that really uh, show greatness of Buddhism. And at the very end, uh, although there are great pictures of temples and things, but there are two Buddhist monks who are walking. And they're carrying something on their backs. It's not even a bag, it's some kind of thing they could put objects in. But there's nothing there. And they took a picture of that. And so we are carrying two drunks. It is saying many things. And so in this way, they dig into the people and make them into the Nephilim. They're making them into the Nephilim. And there are two keys for the three-day weekend age. Not just listening to the messages that we give.
Truly, we must be able to talk about the problems, conflicts, and crises. We must help us, the believers and the remnants, really talk about their problems. Family problems, church problems. Work or business problems. Everybody has them. You must be able to sincerely resolve this for them. Especially look at the remnants. The parents. The church. School. Studies. They have scars in all things. It's difficult in all these areas. Most if you just cover this up and just say only Christ, they will not receive that answer. You must be able to resolve this for the word to be received. It's complete different. It's not just the Buddhism that is no problem. It is the absolute plan of God. That's right. It's not some different strength that is within you. It is the power of the throne of God that has come upon you. Many church members have conflicts within the church real, realistically. That must not be a problem. That must be the answer for you. And so if that is not really an answer for you, then you must remove the history of the remnants from the Bible. And look at Joseph's confession through all these trials. He held on to the sure covenant and plan of God. That's right. And from that time, the word of God accurately is working. And that is when the 25 hours that fulfills the word takes place. And quickly at the churches, we must start the age of concentration. And so the conferences that the headquarter runs, that's plenty. We need to have the concentrated training, concentrated age. You must be able to do the concentrated prayer, receive concentrated answers. The individuals must truly receive the answers. If that doesn't take place in 10, 20 years of Christian living and you have no money. These people are moving the world. We're not able to do world missions. That's the situation. We don't even have any money. These people have dug into so many different places. They're completely taken over. Especially two things. They have taken over the culture and economy. We don't even have any money. That's the situation. They have taken over all the culture, taken all the youth. That is the current situation. That's why we must start this properly, the concentrated age. That is why all the churches utilize the core and Sunday services, especially for the remnants. And the church officers are in charge of a department. 
교회로 가 교회로 가 교회에서 앉자군요. 진정한 이런 기분이 시작돼야죠. Take those people, go to the core service, take the message, and bring them to church and really dig into these personal problems. 또 우리 목사님들과 제가 여러분들이 그 내용을 줄 수가 있는 거예요. And that is how your pastors and I, we can give you the correct content. If you don't gather, we can't give you the content. 여러분들 말하고 뭐 해야 될 겁니까? You're gonna gather these remnants. What are you gonna actually do with them? 여러분들의 문제는 야 그거 뭐 문제 아니야. 이런 식으로 하고는 잠시 위로되지만 아닙니다. 여기 굉장한 답이 들어있죠. And to tell the remnants that is no problem. That's temporary. You must really show them the answer that is within their problem. 모세가 이거 알아들은 날 보세요. And the day Moses understood this, look. He was not able to truly enjoy before age 80, but after age 80, he was able to truly enjoy. And this isn't something that happened overnight. The Mispa movement already Samuel had it when he was young. If you hold to this important covenant, the word is bound to work. You must do this. The secret of concentrated prayer is I don't even have my own motives. That is how God will fully work. And motives are such a scary thing. You don't see anything else except your motives. Even if people say things, if you have a strong motive, you, can't, you don't hear anything. If your stomach begins to ache, then you only see a bathroom. You don't see anything else. And so we must have this time. Simply said, we must have these important three time schedules. Not of Calvary, we already have it. It's finished. We already have that. We all have the Mount of Calvary. But we haven't received this answer. We haven't received the answer that Jesus gave at the Mount of Olives. So we are not able to overcome. Even the businesses, we must be able to have it run so we could save unbelievers. And it must be that even remnants, when you study, you didn't try really hard, but God worked through it. So I have a disciple who studied, and it wasn't much. And so he was listening to pastor's uh, sermon. It was about uh, the northern regions of, of, of Russia, and he, he thought about that. And so listening to the sermon, 겨우겨우 찾아서 이제 고등학교 졸업하고 갔는 데가 외국에 대해 겨우 찾아간 게 교수도 거의 없는 찾아간 게 러시아 어가라 그때. And so uh, he heard this during this sermon, and then after graduating from high school, he went to study the Russian language. 그냥 공부한 거예요. He just studied it. 고민다 어느 날 우리나라에요. 십몇 년 전이 이십 년 전이지요. 갑자기 러시아 개방되면서 문 열리면서. And all of a sudden, about 20 years ago, Russia opened its doors and we uh, created these Russian language departments in every school. And that is why the uh, Busan Foreign Language School brought him as a professor. And so no Russian professors were out there, so the, the Busan University actually took him. And this is something the professor said. Pastor, it's so important to hold to the message of God and praying. And I said I was going to study Russian, and everybody laughed at me. Why would you study that? Your studies are the same way. Don't worry, just begin. 
so this is the story of the seven remnants. If you have this time schedule, it will absolutely arise. The sure word of God came upon them. And from that, there's no reason to shake. So look here. The word of God surely came upon him. So Elisha was able to say, give me a double portion of your spirit. And so look at these people. They gathered holding to the sure word of God. And so don't make any excuses. If you make excuses, you cannot go here. There are many problems in the church. That's okay. People who don't have the gospel, it's not okay. That's right. To the unsaved, if a crisis comes, they fail. But to the saved, it becomes an opportunity. Isn't that so? When the floods came, other people were destroyed, but to Noah and his family, it was a great opportunity. And so people don't really believe in God. That's why spiritually they're a complete loss. Look at these people. Starting today, those who are listening to the message go back, completely change your thinking. That is the gospel. This person doesn't match me. That's gospelly incorrect. God made this person. Why is the elder saying this person is right or wrong? They can make a mistake. God desires to save this person. Why am I criticizing and judging? That is not the gospel. And so they're just like unbelievers, just complete darkness. And if I am right, then they think they are right as well. That's not it. Their point is important, my point is important, but God's plan is the most important. Even if I'm 100% right, if I don't match God's plan, I'm wrong. So you must have this time schedule, the time of concentration. And so what the believers have, those conflicts and problems, you must completely resolve it for them. And through the three day we can age, and that's when these answers come. What answers come? The word will come upon you first. After Paul was broken down, God says, You are my chosen instrument to stand before the kings and Gentiles. The sure word of God came upon him to say, It's going to work or not. That's the unbeliever's words. Right or wrong, those are those dying people. It's not about right or wrong, it's God's word. It's the gospel, that's it. Our church is in a crisis. That's what you think. God protects the church. That's right. God protects you. And you will realize in a big accident or you go to heaven, but it's better to realize now. Yes, it's good to ultimately realize after having suffered so many things, but it's better to realize right now through the word. And yes, our remnants suffering through all the hardships and trials of the world and then realizing, yes, realization is good, but to realize now is better. It's immensely important. Uh, 
And even if you have 10 remnants gathered here and you try to do this all night long, it's not easy for many people to do. And the one-on-one -on -one conversation, the deep conversation you can have, that's what's important. And so that person is speaking, but I receive all the grace because I'm just listening. It's very important. You must do this. And so, I'm sorry to say this a bit, but that Suyungno Church called me as a lecturer for their middle school Sunday school. And the church is very good. They're good at working. And so at the time, they gathered their third year middle school students and the first year high school students. That's the lecturer that I went to. And they had a big number of people. And so I had this chance. The kids won't listen to the message. They work very hard, very well. And they prepare everything so well. But they can't hear the message. That night we had a campfire and we had everybody gather around. So I had the chance. And so I had uh, uh, one of the lecturers there and uh, I stood there, we went around and we started talking. We don't have time to talk about anything else. I asked him, do you know who Christ is? Are you a child of God? You have assurance of being a child of God. They don't have it. All of them. And their, their teacher was right next to them. What should we teach them? I am a child of God. You need to teach them that first. And so this was kind of a big event. I did this even without myself realizing it. And with their teacher right next to them. And so I went through all of them, one by one, even though with the roaring campfire next to us. We did the acceptance prayer as well. And doing the acceptance prayer, they're beginning to pray, and it was an uproar. God began to work. Concerning salvation and even our own thinking, everything we're thinking incorrectly. The church is not coming alive because each individual is not coming alive. First, what is the word? And the word, who fulfills it? And with this word, where should we be? We must be within the working of the word. Through the word, God created the heavens and the earth. And so the word is God. This is the very simple answer we must come to. God works through the word of creation. We'll see next week. Christ works through the power of salvation. The Holy Spirit works in our lives through power. That is the answer. This is the triune God. It's taking place even now. The word salvation and power, even now. 
누리시는 게 되는 거죠. And this is what we can enjoy. 이때부터 이제 뭔가 말씀이 이루어지는데 왜이 시대를 열어야 되나 하면 가장 중요한 거는 여기서 먼저 이루어져야 돼요. And this in a three-day weekend age is so important because word is at work and it fulfilled here. Genesis 1.27. That's it. 내, 내 생명 속에 먼저 일어나 버려. It must take place in my life first. 내 영혼 속에 먼저 일어나 버려. It must take place in my soul. 이걸 꼭 해줘야 돼요. We must do this for them. 그리고 나의 학업에, 나의 삶에, 나의 산업에 역사 안 나가죠. 그대로. And in my life, in my studies, in my business, it will take place exactly. 이게 진짜 응답입니다. That is the true answer. 그래서 이 말씀은 종교와 비교할 수 없어요. So this word you cannot compare with religion. 이사야 40장이죠. Isaiah 40. 어떤 우상하고 말씀과 비교하겠습니까? How can you compare this word of God with other idols? 여호와의 말씀은 영원히 서리라고 말해라. The word of the Lord will stand forever. 오직 여호와를 악망하는 자는 새 힘을 얻을 것이다. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. 확실합니다. It is a sure thing. 모든 목사님들 우리 중지자분들 여러분에 있는 싹 문제 없애세요. All pastors, all pastors, church office, all the problems you have, get rid of them. It's not about when. 틀린 사람, 틀린 거 아닙니다. The incorrect people, they're not incorrect. 맞다 말입니까? 맞는 거, 맞는 거 아닙니다. How can you say everybody's right? Even the right is not right. 시간 지나 말아요. You know, as time passes. 하나님의 역사만 오직 복음만 하나님의 말씀만 진리예요. Only the works of God, the gospel, the word of God is the truth. That is how you can do world evangelization. You must keep this in mind. And this is what Christ has fulfilled completely. He fulfilled it and gave us the 393 blessings. All we have to do is be inside of those works. 자, 왜 우리는 중요한 모임을 합니까? Why do we have our important meetings? 많은 모임이 있겠습니다만은 이 말씀이 이루어지는 모임. There are many meetings, but the meeting where the word of God is fulfilled. 많은 일이 있습니다만은 이 말씀이 이루어지는 예배. There are many events, but the worship where the word is fulfilled, that is where we remain. 자, 이 말씀을 가지고 다른 것 말고 오직 말씀으로 충만한 사람들이 세워진 거요. And those who hold to this word, who were only holding to this word, were raised. 이 중직자. These church officers. 이게 사도행전 육장입니다. That is Acts chapter six. 제가 보기로는 스데반 빌립은 제대로 말씀하고 나머지 사람들은 별로 이름이 없어요. And I think Stephen and Philip, they truly held to the word. Other people, they're not mentioned so much. You must see the difference. They didn't have this time. A minority arose at that time. During the time of persecution, they raised the Antioch church and they were able to change the world. Acts 28, 30-31 To the ends of the earth No one could block the word of the Lord The word of God cannot be stopped The gospel of God cannot be blocked There's nobody who can block God even in these extreme situations, it was proclaimed. May you hold to this covenant. In conclusion, as a conclusion to this, why must we do this? Two answers. Make the real partisan of prayer. Pray so the true evangelism partisan will be raised. Pray so your business will be used for evangelism. Pray so your business can be used for world missions. Two things. Start with the partisan of prayer. And realistically make the partisan of evangelism. Don't lose hold of this. And it is sad that we can't just keep gathering together and just for the sake of meeting, we must make these answers. 
Why am I saying we don't need all the different types of thinking? They can block the word of God. I might think this is correct, but somebody else might think that is not correct. But the more important thing important than that is don't lose hold of the word of God. The 25 hours that fulfills the word of God. We hold to it this week. It took a lot of time because it's important. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks. May we truly have the word of God at work as we give worship at churches tomorrow. May this word come upon us as give us a new start. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.